What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to explore the quote, If more people valued home above gold, this world will be a merrier place. By the character Thorin Oakenshield in the 2014 Hobbit film, The Battle of the Five Armies. There are two variations in this quote, one from the movie itself and the other from the book, where it reads, If more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. Both generally have the same sentiments as well as possible life application, just that they use different words to express the same thing. With this in mind, I will try my best to explain and explore the two variations in a way which will be enlightening to all of us as well as how best it can be applied in our own lives in a positive way. These are the first few videos of a new channel that I'm trying to get off the ground. If you love inspirational, motivational and meaningful quotes as much as I do, consider subscribing to my channel and we'll explore old and new movie quotes together in a more meaningful way. As part 3 of Peter Jackson's The Hobbit Trilogy, we finally see Thorin's character arc come full circle. After the destruction of Lake Town and the slaying of Smaug the Dragon, another sort of dragon danger looms over all. The gold madness that had once seized Thorin's grandfather Thror, the king under the mountain of old, has also overtaken his mind. And as the Arkan Stone, the king's jewel, remains unfound, his dragon sickness continues to grow within the halls of Mount Erebor. Due to this, friendships shatter, loyalty questioned, and a war between the major factions brew slowly. With nothing to stop the impending conflict between former allies, especially since the arrival of Dane Ironfoot's army, self-destruction was imminent, but for the fourth army, i.e the army of Ox that appeared, causing the standing army to unite against a common foe. In many ways, the plot and theme of this story very much reflects our current as well as ever-present global political situation. And in many ways, the quote can actually be applied in our real-world conflicts, be it globally or personally. This is, of course, applied in a way where we should understand it as a reason to not resort to any form of conflicts that is driven by our own greed and selfish needs for want of a merrier world. Firstly, I would say that though the quote is ultimately attributable to Tolkien, but for the sake of context of the plot of the movie, I will just refer to Thorin as the one who said it. As mentioned earlier, the quote differs slightly between the movie and the book. However, the meaning that comes with it is generally the same. I believe that the version of the quote from the book is more comprehensive in nature and thereby more applicable in our real-world situation, especially with regards to the ever-fragile state of global politics or even some of our own personal relationships with the people around us. The movie version of the quote was probably tweaked to fit in to Bilbo's overall characterization about his personal longing for the comforts of home and his initial resistance to join Thorin and company. I can't just go running off 
into the blue. I am a Baggins of Bag End. You are also a Took. But the quote itself, whether it be from the movie or the book, is generally about the misplaced values that people have in their lives that it causes the world to be a less merry place. The core meaning of the quote mostly concerns greed as a mortal vice that drives our motivations for all that prevents the world from being a merrier place. The word goal in the quote is just a metaphor for anything that humanity can possibly greed for in this mortal realm. The words food and cheer and song is a metaphor for the simplicity of peace and harmony among all and between all. The word home could simply mean the very world and the only world that we all inhabit. The only world that we have and the only planet that we physically share with one another. The mortal vice of greed that underlies the word gold doesn't exclusively cover the hoard of wealth and riches, but also power, influence, and personal ambitions. In other words, the kind of greed for things that can never seem to sate the immortal desires of man. The fact remains that there is only so much that this mortal world has, and yet we tend to exhaust our immortal soul's desire on things that were meant to be shared with the world. Things which were made free for all to fill all of our mortal needs. But our insatiable soul hoards all for ourselves and do so at the expense of all that is around us. Just like Thorin's characterization in the third movie, as soon as he came by the wealth under the mountain, his self-entitled and perceived status and position as king under the mountain immediately turned him against both his allies as well as his own honor. Because you gave us your word. Does that mean nothing? This is exactly the kind of characterization that we can see in real-world struggle for wealth, position, power, and personal ambitions that is happening all around us. So much so that people of power, no matter the degree or the perception of it, are often so blinded by it that they forget that their actions ultimately causes the world to become a less merry place. A world in which they themselves also rightly call home. However, it takes two hands to clap and two hands from two different persons to shake in agreement. That is why, as per the quote, it says, if more of us, if more people, this world would be a merrier place. The world would only be a merrier place should more if not all of us were to put aside our personal greed and go for more that we already have and come together to share in the wealth of all things. World history shows that the world has literally grown for the better after major conflicts have been resolved and nations work and share in many things together for mutual benefit or as per the book version of the quote, food and cheer and song above hoarded gold. Bomber! <laughs> but alas, it would seem that the politics of the world is once again driving the world away from being a merry place. I mean, it could have always been merrier but for the unceasing conflicts of man. With the escalation of things done by people of power for their own justification and for their own selfish interests, the value of things changes, and it no longer becomes mutual for all, but very much only for the self. 
and it is the value for the self that is the direct antithesis of what Thorin is trying to mean when he says food and cheer and song and home, which should be mutually valued by all and shared by all for the world to be a merrier place. That's all for today. Do share your thoughts about the quote itself or what I have shared about it. Did I miss anything? Is there any other movie quotes you'd like me to explore? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you like what I have done in this video, do consider liking and subscribing to my channel for more movie quotes explored as I will be publishing more videos in the near future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.